Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. Uh, we're going to have a fun one today. We're going to get into the heavyweight division. Uh, we're going to get into Frank Sanchez and Junior Fob. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow up. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. i uh, show you how to bring down the house. Also, please subscribe uh, to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, we don't gamble, uh, but if you do, um, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money on the on the sport of boxing. We use uh, DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um but if you do gamble, um, you do bet on sports, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I'm going to show you how to bring down a house. I know what I'm doing. There's a bull market. There's always a bull market somewhere. And uh, we're going to show you how to bring down the house. All right, let's get into this fight. It's, it's an interesting fight. Uh, I think Frank Sanchez is a really interesting heavyweight. 23-0, um, 16 knockouts, uh, 6'4", 240 pounds-ish. 78 inch reach, uh, quick stinging punches. He's physically strong. He's got powerful punches. Uh, he's a good boxer. I, I said this about Usyk. Um, you were, where as you know, um, guys like Wilder and AJ are good heavyweights. Uh, Frank Sanchez and Usyk are good boxers who happen to be heavyweights, right? Like you could, if you could shrink them down and make them a smaller weight, they're still really good. Um, you know, Frank Sanchez throws really good combos, really good combination puncher. He's athletic. He moves well uh, for a guy that size. <clears throat> Highly athletic, I would say. Um, you know, he throws it in pretty good volume. You know, but he's selective, and what I mean is that is is he throws in combination and a flurry, uh, but he picks his spots, and he and, and, and he and he, I, he uses a basketball term. He sees the court really well. <clears throat> you know, he sees what's out in front of him. He's like a point guard. Um, you know, he keeps moving, and, and he's powerful. He's he, but he, but he's calm and patient with it, right? Like he'll throw a combination, and then he'll move it, move it until he sees what he's looking for. You know, and and then he'll throw a combination, three, fours, and fives, uh, punch combinations. He's really, really good at measuring distance. Like he's really good at measuring distance, uh, keeping at bay, closing it when he wants to. It's just fluid. He's fluid, a a athletic. You know, he's 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 good. You know, he's got really good skills. He comes from you know the the Cuban pedigree, the Cuban school. He's a big puncher, um, and he's highly athletic. And he's just thirty one. Um, which in Cuban years probably means he's 36, 34 at least. But you know, I, I do think Frank Sanchez will wear a heavyweight crown at some point. Uh, I hope it happens quickly because you know I want him to have a, a reign. He's 31. You know, I I, I think he can have a, a run at, 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 at you know in a reign at, at, at the heavyweight division. He's that good. Um, you know he. People, he doesn't get he gets knockouts, right? He's got 16 knockouts in his 23 wins, which is good. That was almost 70% knockout ratio. Um, but he gets a lot of them late. You know, uh, we, we look at his resume, and uh, I think it was his last five fights. He's averaging seven rounds a fight, and, and that's going to be interesting to me uh, when we get to the over, under. Uh, I already tipped my hand on what I'm going to be betting there. Uh, but, you know, he got a, a first-round knockout and a fourth-round knockout. His last two fights, but these aren't his best opponents. Um, you know, Carlos Negron went nine rounds with him. Uh, Christian Hammer went the distance. F.A. Jogbe went the distance. Nagy Aguilar went six rounds. So you can see Julian Fernandez uh, at the Alamo Dome, seven rounds. And then um, that takes us all the way up to the pandemic. Um <clears throat> I believe. Could be wrong. Joey Dworko, right before the pandemic, went the distance with him. You know, so he's a guy that uh goes rounds. You know, he yeah, he can knock you out. Um, and he's got a lot of power and he, and he's strong, but he, he doesn't typically get guys out early. Now, Junior Fa, good footwork. Uh he's got a good jab and he uses his jab. That's what he's got. Um you know, he's a safety first guy. He really is a safety first technician, Junior Fa. Um, you know, he's pretty accurate, especially specifically with the right hand. Uh, he doesn't throw a lot. You know, he's not next level at anything. He's, 
know, he's athletic for his size, but not really. Um, he's off the back foot a lot, you know, and, and he's using the jab to try to distract you and, 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 and score the right hand. And the right hand is, is, is lethal in the sense that it's accurate and it lands. He just doesn't land with a whole lot of force. He's not going to knock you out. Um, and he loves to hold, and this drives me crazy. You know, his punch output's low. I think he's got a bad gas tank, uh, and, and he holds. Uh, you know, he, he's big. You know, he's 6'5", 250, 260. He's a big dude, but he doesn't really use his size other than to lean on you, which is effective in a way, right? Um, but he's not strong. He doesn't really move you, right? Um, he doesn't really big boy you, except that he leans on you and and, and hugs you and ties you up a lot. Um and he's got the accurate right hand. Um, it's not going to be enough. I do think he survives and goes rounds. You know, he he's not going to win rounds because he's not busy enough. He's not going to knock Frank Sanchez out. Chances seems to have a good chin. He stood up with, with some pretty good hitters. Um, you know, but I I think that Sanchez can survive rounds, although he's not going to survive all the rounds. I don't think. Um, so. Let's go to the uh, – let's go let, – let's let's pull up the odds on this. Let's take a look at how I'm going to show you how to make money on this. All right. Um, and the odds are wide on this. I'm not shocked that they're wide um, because we know who's going to win the fight, and that's Frank Sanchez. He's minus 1,600. And when this came out, when I you know at first heard, I, I thought minus eight hundred to a thousand somewhere in that range. It's not. It's minus sixteen hundred. It's a lot. So what I would do is put a two times bet on that. In this case, twelve a two hundred dollar bet that would make you twelve fifty. I know, guys. These odds are wild, and I I don't think they're inappropriate. I just didn't think they would set them this wide. Um, I mean, I guess they're asking you to bet on Junior Fa, which means Frank Sanchez is going to win. <clears throat> You know, the spread on this is pretty wide, too. Um, and then I would take Frank Sanchez by KO, TKO, or DQ. Um, I'd probably also take the uh, over five and a half rounds. I would probably do that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll do that. Um, but just none of these gives really, really good odds, right? They just don't. So that's going to make us on a $4 bet. We're gonna make two twenty nine. No, uh, what is that? Twelve and eighty six. You know that's a hundred, a hundred and thirty dollars on a four dollar bet. You know it's the best we can do is if if Sanchez knocks him out after the fifth and a half round. I I think that five and a half is pretty good. Although I, my guess is seven or eight. I think he gets him out. So I'm gonna go the over on that. Uh, Frank Sanchez by KO pays minus three forty. Again, this is not great. Uh, I'll bet there makes you twenty nine forty one. I would do one times on that and one times on the over five and a half, which is going to make you eighty six ninety five. Not a, not a killing, uh, but I think this is a pretty safe bet. I think we'll make money here. You know, you, you you're risking a lot here, but I, I think it's a pretty safe gamble. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. You know, this isn't the best one to make a killing on, but we'll make money on it. You know, he takes Frank Sanchez by KO. Uh, I did bet that right, correct? Let me I'm gonna make sure I put that in right. Uh, over five and a half rounds. Yep. Okay. You know my 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 prediction on this would be Frank Sanchez by knockout in the eighth would be my kind of prediction. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow three boxing, three boxing blog, and all forms social media. Boxing bookie comes into every major fight. It is December twentieth, two thousand twenty-three, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.